You think you're their father? Prepare to be shell-shocked as we dive into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. From their humble beginnings in Mirage Comics, to their epic crossovers with the likes of Batman and Usagi Ujimbo, these heroes in a half-shell have captivated audiences for decades. But let's face it, not all versions of our favorite characters are created equal, especially when it comes to the iconic villain, Shredder. Get ready to slice through the good, the bad, and the downright ugly as we dissect the many incarnations of this evil warrior. It's time to discover which Shredder reigns supreme in this gnarly journey through the T. MNT multiverse. Cowabunga dudes! Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. I need volunteers! Yeah. Oroku Saki 1987 TV series. Oroku Saki. This dude was part of the Foot Clan, a prestigious ninja dynasty led by the legendary Yoshi. But Saki wanted to be the top dog. He hatched a scheme to overthrow Yoshi and take control of the Foot Clan. Saki succeeded in turning the once noble clan into a full-blown army of criminals. But Saki had his sights set on the Big Apple City. It was there that our power-hungry ninja crossed paths with Krang, an alien mercenary from another dimension. Krang armed Saki with all types of futuristic tech toys. We're talking robotic soldiers, a colossal Technodrome, and more gadgets than you can shake a katana at. With his shiny new steel bladed armor, Saki underwent a transformation like no other and turned into the Shredder. His arsenal reads like a shopping list for the most eccentric supervillain ever. A new armor steel blade, katana, of course, retro mutagen ray generator, don't ask, laser gun, handgun, grenades, anti-gravity ray for those low gravity days, crossbow, ninja stars, and even a laser sword. Yep, you heard that right, a freaking laser sword. Always keep my promises. Goodbye, Captain. Shrill. Utrom Shredder, 2003 TV series. Now, the Utroms are these peace-loving, technologically advanced aliens. But Shirell, well, he's the black sheep of the family. He turned his back on his own kind and became the ultimate menace. Utrom finally managed to capture Shirell, while en route back to his home turf, near good old planet Earth. Due to engine failure, they landed smack dab in the middle of feudal Japan. When samurais roamed the land and honor was as important as a good hair day, the aliens quickly realized that Earth technology was about as advanced as a caveman's club, so they decided to hunker down and wait for humanity to catch up. They create an exoskeleton prototype, because why not? Shirell saw his chance to wreak havoc once again. He managed to overpower the poor soul testing the suit and stole it for himself. With his newfound mobility and the desire to blend in among us humans, he learned martial arts and slapped a snazzy coat of samurai armor on top of his exoskeleton. Inspired by the legendary tales of fearsome warriors from ancient times, Shirell took on the name and persona of the one and only Shredder. You think you're their father? The Shredder, Paramount. This version of the Shredder has deep scars on his face and has Eric Sachs as his trusty sidekick and adopted student. This dude is not only the brains behind our villain's armor, but he also defines loyalty. We don't know much about the Shredder's history in this version, but one thing's for sure. He's the big boss of his own army. And where do they hide? Well, it's a secret hideout tucked away in the heart of New York City. He's got his sights set on the Ninja Turtles. Why, you may wonder. One word, mutagen. This radioactive material is like the holy grail for our villain, and he'll stop at nothing to get his claws on it. You see, this this mutagen is the same stuff that created Splinter, the turtle's wise mentor. And in the Shredder's eyes, it's the key to unlocking unimaginable power. That's where Sax comes in. This genius craftsman cooks up a magnificent masterpiece for the Shredder, a massive robotic samurai suit with retractable blades, unlimited superhuman strength, and the ability to make our villain a martial arts master. Fools, you cannot destroy me. Cyber Shredder, 2003 TV series. The Cyber Shredder, a cybernetic marvel born from the memory of the Utrom Shredder, none other than Shirell himself. This takes place in the back to the sewer season of the beloved 2003 animated series, The Ultimate Computer Program, a virtual villain with a diabolical agenda. It's not just any old iteration of the Shredder that we're dealing with here. He proudly stands among a select group of five unique incarnations within the series. This technologically enhanced adversary boasts superhuman strength and reflexes courtesy of of some carefully crafted programming upgrades. <laughs> Shredder. 
Shredder Tengu, Demon Shredder, 2003 TV series. Shredder Tengu, a demonic being, emerged as a powerful villain of the Ninja Tribunal. This unique character was brought to life in the 2003 TV series, shrouded in mystery and a harbinger of chaos. The true origins of the Shredder Tengu remain a mystery, lost in the mists of time. Faced with the seemingly invincible might of the Shredder Tengu, the Emperor of the Time sought a solution. In response, he called upon a group known as the Five Dragons. These chosen warriors, adorned with magical armor bestowed by the Imperial Court, embarked on a courageous mission to combat the Tengu Shredder. Against all odds, the five dragons managed to overpower the Shredder Tengu. However, the story takes a sinister turn when the Shredder Tengu reaches out to Araku Saki, telepathically, offering him almost unlimited power in exchange for taking his soul. The demon's essence finds a new vessel in Saki, marking the birth of the Tengu Demon Shredder. This first human incarnation of the monstrous entity lays the groundwork and inspires the likes of Shirel to adopt the name and identity of Araku Saki. Oroku Saki 2012 TV series. Instead of being born into the Foot Clan, he was discovered as a baby amidst wreckage by the father of Hamatu Yoshi. As the Super Shredder, Saki possesses not only his original ninja skills, but also newly acquired mutant abilities, enhancing his already fatal capabilities and making him an even deadlier adversary. The Super Shredder's physical characteristics consist of being a tall and lean individual from Japan with a muscular build. He wears chrome-plated armor on his chest, shoulders, arms, and lower legs. Unlike earlier versions, his armor is larger and more substantial, accentuating his intimidating appearance during combat. Additionally, he sports a dark blue cape draped over his back, further contributing to his menacing vibe. Furthermore, his right eye has suffered significant impairment, leading to limitations in his vision, to further augment his combat prowess. This version of the Shredder employs customized, partially mechanical Teko Kagi built into his gauntlets. Oroku Saki, coming out of their shells and getting down in your town. Here's a backstage pass to a stage show that takes the turtle's hype to a whole new level. In this exhilarating addition to the turtle mania, the Shredder takes on a role that's even less menacing than your average cartoon villain. Equipped with the Deharmonizer, a dastardly device bestowed upon him by the ever-conniving Krang, Shredder sets his sights on silencing the musical tunes that bring joy to our lives. He prefers to make his appearances through a massive TV monitor, adding a touch of technological flair to his villainy. What better way to showcase his distance for music than with a song aptly titled I Hate Music. He goes on with a remix of the Turtles background instrumentals, featuring those catchy tunes like Cowabunga and Skipping Stones, as Shredder unleashes his lyrical prowess to express his detestation for all things melodic. Shredder? I told you not to touch that! Shredder, Shredderville. He's actually the ruler of our dear planet Earth. This Shredder prefers to stay holed up in his office, like a true emperor recluse. From there, he broadcasts his twisted messages through loudspeakers, brainwashing the hapless population into believing that evil mutants are to blame for the city's state of disrepair. The turtles who won't stand idly by while Shredder plays his mind games. As the turtles approach him, Shredder can't help but reveal his true emotions. With a hint of desperation, he admits it ain't easy to be the emperor of the world. In a surprising twist, Shredder begs begs the turtles to take him away from his throne, longing for a life free from the burdens of ruling. But just as the tension reaches its peak, chaos erupts. The building shakes, and a whole side of it collapses. Shredder, true to his cowardly nature, makes a hasty retreat, shouting, That's it! I abdicate the throne! It seems ruling the world isn't as glamorous as he thought. Sawaki Oroku, Chojin Densetsu Hin, Anime. Mutant Turtles, Chojin Densetsu Hin is a crazy adaptation that stays true to the beloved 1987 TV series that sparked its creation, but with a twist for the villainous Shredder. Unlike the rest of the main cast, Shredder undergoes a visually striking transformation to match the super mutant Shredder toy that was making waves at that time. The manga dives deep into the explanation, revealing that his original outfit met its demise in a fierce battle with the heroic turtles. The devious Krang steps in and crafts a brand new armor. Shredder's power escalates to mind-blowing levels as he harnesses the ability to morph into a super mutant form, the fearsome dragon known as Devil Shredder. How, you ask? By wielding the extraordinary power of the dark mutastones he cunningly stole from the neutrinos. But the saga doesn't stop there. As the anime unfolds, Shredder taps into the energy of the wicked sprite Dark Moo, propelling him into a transformation into the colossal Dark Devil Shredder. I'm going to visit an old friend. Oroku Saki 
Panini Comics. Step right into the twisted web of the 2012 TV series, my friends, where Oroku Saki takes on a branched out persona that'll leave you on the edge of your seat. In the pages of the Panini Comics, Oroku Saki, better known as the Shredder, makes his grand debut in a thrilling adventure titled A Slice of Luck. Within the hallowed halls of Foot Clan HQ, we find Fishface begging before the mighty Shredder, sharing vital information about the turtle's whereabouts in the treacherous sewer. Here comes Stockman, a brilliant yet mentally unstable scientist who unveils his greatest creation, the Robo Samurai. This mechanical marvel proves its mettle by easily besting the footbots sent for testing its power. Impressed by its prowess, Shredder commands Stockman to unleash the Robo Samurai against our beloved turtles, eager to witness its true potential. The Shredder gathers a fearsome army, ready to face off against our valiant turtles. It's a clash of titans, a battle that will shake the very foundations of their existence. Lady Shredder, Image Comic. Lady Shredder is a character shrouded in mystery. In the final chapters of the TMNT Image Comics, she emerges like a phantom, her true identity concealed beneath the fearsome armor of the Shredder. As Raphael finds himself entangled in a fierce battle against Pimico, the daughter of the Shredder, an unexpected turn of events takes place. A figure clad in Shredder's armor makes her grand entrance, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the unfolding conflict. Raphael, initially believing this mysterious newcomer to be Pimico, acknowledges her fatal skills and concedes that she may be worthy of reclaiming the Foot Clan. The true Pimico appears unharmed and unaware of the situation, prompting Raphael to question the identity of the mysterious Lady Shredder. Lady Shredder, however, chains Raphael, presenting him with a grim ultimatum, join her reign or face a perilous demise. Together, they rally against Lady Shredder and the Foot, engaging in a breathtaking battle for control and the fate of the clan. The series reaches its conclusion before the true identity of Lady Shredder can be disclosed. Raphael, Image Comic. Raphael, a complex and resilient character in the image continuity of TMNT. In this gripping tale, Raphael experiences a series of transformative events that shape his path in unexpected ways. After a fateful encounter with a cyborg, Raphael's face bears the scars of a laser blast, a visible reminder of the trials he has endured. In a daring move, Raphael takes on the mantle of the Shredder, donning a modified version of the fearsome armor. This incarnation of the armor features an array of deadly blades adorning his arms, surpassing previous renditions of the Shredder's iconic weaponized attire. With this powerful guise, Raphael embarks on a psychological conquest, seeking to assert dominance over the New York mob. Pretending to be the Shredder, Raphael employs his newfound persona to gain the upper hand against his pursuers. Displaying cunning and skill, he emerges victorious, defeating his adversaries and leaving a lasting impact on the criminal underworld. In a surprising turn of events, Raphael's success grants him acceptance into the Foot Clan, with the New York faction recognizing his strength and granting him control, albeit temporarily. Dr. Shredarius, Mirage. Dr. Shredarius is the counterpart of the Shredder in the universe of the Super Turtles. Dr. Shredarius, a brilliant and cunning scientist, devised an audacious plan to protect Earth from what he believed to be an impending alien invasion. He created the Terror Kinetics, imbued with unique abilities to safeguard the planet. However, as the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Dr. Shredarius harbored darker ambitions. His plan revolved around the manipulation of fear, utilizing a fictitious threat of alien invasion to manipulate populace. It was a diabolical ploy to establish his rule over the unsuspecting masses. As part of the machinations, Dr. Shredarius conducted experiments in his laboratory, where he mutated four ordinary turtles and bestowed them with extraordinary superpowers. His intention was to mold them into loyal bodyguards capable of protecting him against a strong adversary known as Lux. Undeterred by his physical setback, Dr. Shredarius was rebuilt as a cyborg. He emerged with a new form and purpose. His injured body was encased in a powerful exoskeleton, which not only sustained his vital functions, but also also enhanced his capabilities. Now, as a powerful cyborg, he wielded even greater power and became an even more fatal adversary. Shredder, Mirage, Amato Yoshi, flee from Japan to United States with Tang Shen and his pet rat, Splinter. Little did he know that his past actions would sow the seeds of revenge in the heart of Oroku Saki. Fifteen years elapsed, and Saki had risen to power, orchestrating a menacing protection racket. Meanwhile, Splinter, having nurtured and trained the four turtles under his care, deemed them ready to face their ultimate test, to confront and eliminate Oroku Saki, the man responsible for their master's fall from grace. Shredder attacked Leonardo during a routine training session. It was revealed later that the assailant was a clone, birthed from a colony of worms, yet retaining the memories and essence of the original Oroku Saki. As the days passed, the clone underwent a transformation, morphing into a shark-like mutant fueled by an insatiable thirst for vengeance. Karai, Mirage. Karai, who in a surprising turn of events, takes on the mantle of the fallen Shredder. Imagine 
Karai, donning the daunting armor of the predecessor, leading a pack of loyal foot soldiers. In a twist that catches even the most seasoned elite foot off guard, one of their own mistakes Karai for the true Shredder. As the tension mounts, Karai, masquerading as the Shredder, demands a solemn act of loyalty from the elite foot. She commands them to commit seppuku, a ritualistic form of suicide. To her surprise, only one weak-willed elite complies, while the others, driven by curiosity and the need for answers, demand the truth behind the Shredder's identity. In a bold move, Karai reveals her true self, admitting that she is not Oroku Saki, the original Shredder. In a swift motion, she hurls the helmet at one of the elites, igniting a grand battle that engulfs them all. Oroku Saki, TMHT comic strip. In the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, our story begins with a dastardly crime lord named Art E. Choke. This guy's got big plans for his criminal empire, but there's just one problem. The turtles keep getting in his way. Determined to eliminate this shell-shocked obstacle, Choke sets his sights on the one and only Shredder. He figures the Shredder's the perfect man for the job, offering his assistance to take down our heroes once and for all. Shredder is approached by Choke with an offer he can't refuse. However, Shredder, in a surprising twist, turns down Choke's tempting proposal, as he has his own plans. He witnesses Krang's feeble attempt to vanquish the turtles using a duo of animal-themed robots, affectionately named Mad Cow Denise and Mad Pig Pete. In a classic case of accidental button pushing, Shredder, in all his frustration, manages to bump the transfer button on a control panel. The turtles find themselves whisked away from Dimension X and back to Earth in the blink of an eye, while Krang and Shredder remain stuck in Dimension X. Eric Sachs, 2014 Video Games In the thrilling world of video games based on the 2014 movie, where the notorious Eric Sachs takes on the mantle of the Shredder, the Shredder wields his deadly blades with precision, delivering punishing attacks that can leave the player's character poisoned and in dire straits. After sustaining some damage, he summons four fearsome black turtles donning neon clothing and striking highlights. These dark avatars are ready to bring the pain and put the player's skills to the test. The resilient Shredder continues to return, summoning the shadow versions of previous bosses such as Splinter, Rat King, and Slash. Each of these encounters possess a unique challenge that must be overcome before the Shredder reverts to his primary form. But fear not, for victory awaits the tenacious player. Only when the Shredder has been defeated and every shadow version of the bosses has been bested does he finally yield. Mutant Turtles, Injustice 2. In the video game's riveting storyline, the Shredder joins forces with the notorious Krang, combining their villainous might to take on the valiant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As the Warlord exiles our heroes into an alternate dimension, the Shredder becomes a key player in Krang's diabolical scheme. With his mastery of martial arts and unparalleled expertise in traditional ninja weaponry, he proves to be a fatal force to fear. The Foot Clan, fiercely loyal and ready to sacrifice their lives at his command, follows him into battle. However, the tide of this conflict takes an unexpected turn when the Turtles return with an incredible power-up. Armed with this newfound strength, they unleash a barrage of attacks that leave the Shredder and Krang utterly defeated. The villainous duo, despite their powers and abilities, cannot withstand the might of our hero's unexpected triumph. You navigate this thrilling gaming experience. Get ready to unleash your inner hero and show the Shredder and his Foot Clan what you're made of. Shredder, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. In the intense world of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 and its adrenaline-pumping sequel, Call of Duty Warzone 2.0, you'll meet Oroku Saki, better known as the one and only Shredder. This iconic character takes center stage as an operator within the Cortec faction, bringing his lethal skills to the battlefield. Shredder made his debut in the gaming universe during the Deadly Season 2 Reloaded of Modern Warfare 2, hitting the scene on March 21, 2023. Players were given the opportunity to harness the power of this fearsome character by acquiring the Tracer Pack, the Shredder Bundle. Armed with all the trappings this bundle has to offer, as an operator within the Cortec faction, Shredder is undoubtedly a force to be reckoned with. His tactical prowess and combat skills are honed to perfection, making him an unusual presence on the battlefield. Whether you're engaging in intense firefights or executing stealthy takedowns, Shredder's abilities are sure to give you the upper hand. Oroku Saki 1987 Video Games The Evil Shredder, a true staple in the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video games. This iconic villain has graced us with his presence in numerous titles, often taking on the role of the final boss. Ready to put our turtle heroes to the ultimate test, let's take a journey down memory lane with some of the popular games he has appeared in. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1989 home game. He dons a striking red costume reminiscent of his Mirage counterpart. Equipped with the fearsome Life Transformer gun, this powerful weapon has the ability to demutate the turtles, instantly reverting them to their pre-mutated state, instantly defeating the turtle that the player controls. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan 1990 His game took a twist from the norm by featuring Shredder not as the ultimate final boss, but as an adversary in the thrilling river level. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 The Manhattan Project 1992 In this one, Shredder Day 
debuts as the main boss on level 6 known as the Technodrome level. Equipped with a deadly sword, he presents a formidable obstacle for our courageous turtles. The player also has a second encounter with the transformed Super Shredder. As the game reaches its peak, Shredder reappears as the ultimate boss in the final stage located aboard Krang's spacecraft. Roku Saki, Archie. In the zany world of the Archie comics, published Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles adventure series, the turtles are brought to life in all their animated glory straight out of the iconic 1987 to 1996 TV show. This rendition of the Shredder takes us back to the early episodes of the animated series, where he's all about cunning and chaos. The turtles face off against a foe who's more than a match for their turtle power. This guy knows how to play dirty and nearly gets them in a shell of trouble, coming dangerously close to giving our heroes a taste of defeat. The Shredder goes above and and beyond the call of villainy by teaming up with the notorious Armagon and the dastardly Verminator X. Together, they concoct a diabolical plan to take down our green heroes, even managing to capture two of them in the future. However, our pizza-loving heroes are no pushovers. Through their sheer turtle awesomeness, they manage to overcome the odds, sending the Shredder, Armagon, and Verminator X packing. Oroku Saki, Dreamwave. In the interesting world of Dreamwave comics, Oroku Saki takes center stage as the leader of the infamous Foot Clan. This rendition of the character draws inspiration from his early appearances in the 2003 animated TV series, with the first four issues of the comics adapting the corresponding episodes. Unlike his counterparts in the animated series, the secret origins of this version of Oroku Saki remain unknown. While his leadership and influence over the Foot Clan are apparent, the details of his past and how he ascended to his position of power are yet to be revealed. This this air of intrigue adds an extra layer of suspense to the narrative. As the story unfolds within the Dreamware comics, Oroku Saki's presence looms large, commanding the Foot Clan with an iron fist. His strategic brilliance, martial arts prowess, and ruthless determination solidify his position as an interesting antagonist in the pages. Reunited. Is 30 years over. Mega Shredder. Same as it never was. In this alternate reality, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles faced a grim and challenging battle against the tyrant Shirelle, who had taken over the world. With their mentor Splinter and ally Casey Jones already fallen, the Turtles faced numerous losses and injuries themselves. In a climactic final battle, the remaining Turtles, Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo, alongside their allies Hun, Stockman, and Karai, fought valiantly against Shredder's forces. However, their efforts were in vain, and one by one, they met their demise. Donatello utilized his intelligence and resourcefulness to turn the tide of the battle. He modified an exosuit of his own and lured the Shredder into the cutting tool on the Turtle Tunneler, a device capable of piercing even the most durable armor. With precision and determination, Donatello managed to trap the Shredder within the cutting tool, delivering a fatal blow that ended Shirelle's reign of terror. Roku Saki, Rise of the TMNT. Faced with overwhelming violence, Saki found himself at a crossroads. In a desperate bid for power, he struck a deal with Krang, an otherworldly entity. This unholy alliance birthed the mystic armor of unparalleled might, known as the Kuroi Yuroi. The armor, hungry for souls, consumed Saki's very essence, corrupting him from within. Thus, emerged the legendary figure known as the Shredder. Fueled by darkness, he twisted the once noble Foot Clan into an instrument of terror and destruction, spreading chaos across the lands of Japan. However, soon after his demise, entered Kurai, the daughter of the fallen Saki. Driven by a burning desire to combat the tyranny of the demon and the corrupted Foot Clan, she forged the Hamas clan. United by their indomitable spirit, they stood against the forces of darkness. Through the mastery of a secret fighting technique known as the Hamato Ninpu and wielding a mystic blade, Karai and her clan faced the Shredder head-on. Karai 2003 TV series. Karai is a significant character in the 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. She balances between being an adversary and enemy. In this Mirage Studios creation, Karai's allegiance proves to be a fluid concept. Shifting with the seasons, Karai's upbringing under the ruthless and merciless Utram Shredder has left an unforgettable mark on her character. She exudes seriousness, sharp wit, and a somewhat cold demeanor. However, beneath her seemingly unfeeling exterior lies a glimmer of morality and honor prompting her to explore less aggressive avenues when dealing with the Turtles. In a world where her father has been cast aside, presumed dead by society, Karai emerges as a powerful force, assuming the mantle of leadership over the foot and adopting the iconic identity of the Shredder. This transformation captures the essence of the traditional Shredder, yet with a fresh interpretation that adds a unique dimension to her character. Move yourselves! Destroy the freaks. But the Red Hat 
Interesting. Oroku Saki, The Next Mutation. The Sabin produced series Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation, the Foot Clan takes on a new persona, appearing rather clumsy and lacking in intellect. This, of course, becomes a constant source of frustration for their master, Shredder. Further, the wise Splinter finds himself in a weakened state, leaving the turtles vulnerable. The Shredder, in a fit of malicious intent, decides to unleash a full-blown attack on the turtles. Enter Venus de Milo, the recently arrived fifth turtle, bringing with her the mystical powers of Shinobi magic. She confronts the Shredder, unleashing a devastating attack that drives the foot leader to the brink of madness. She calls upon the true Oroku Saki, the original essence of the Shredder, to rise to the surface and take control. Hiroto Oroku, The Last Ronin In this tale, Hiroto Oroku shows a glimpse into a dystopian future where Hiroto, the grandson of Oroku Saki, the notorious Shredder, rises to power with an iron fist. Hiroto is described as the bastard son of Karai. We find Hiroto as the de facto ruler of New York City, a city engulfed in his malicious authoritarian rule. Michelangelo, the last surviving turtle, bears a heavy burden of grief and blame, attributing the deaths of his beloved brothers to Hiroto's sinister machinations. However, as revealed in the pages of The Last Ronin number 2, it was Raphael's own mother, Karai, who struck the fatal blow. But the story doesn't end there. In a climactic showdown, Michelangelo, driven by vengeance and the weight of his losses, confronts Hiroto, seeking justice for his fallen brothers. In an epic battle of wills and skill, Hiroto meets his ultimate fate at the hands of the last remaining turtle. The cycle of violence is brought to a close as Michelangelo delivers the final blow, putting an end to Hiroto's reign of terror. Shredder, Batman vs. TMNT, the Turtles, and their fearless leader Splinter find themselves unexpectedly whisked away to the city of Gotham. This turn of events would bring them face to face with the legendary Dark Knight himself. The Shredder and his loyal foot ninja attract the attention of Batman. Batsy, recognizing the threat that the Shredder poses, teams up with the Turtles. They launch a coordinated attack on the Shredder, striking at his defenses with relentless force. The Shredder realizes his defeat. In order to escape, he boards a waiting helicopter. However, his plans take an unexpected turn when he finds himself face to face with none other than Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul proposes a partnership, and the Shredder readily agrees. They seize canisters of mutagen, unleashing their transformative powers upon the dangerous criminals imprisoned in the Arkham Asylum. Chaos ensues as the mutated inmates are set free, wreaking havoc upon the once secure facility. In a fierce battle, Batman tears off the Shredder's gauntlets, leaving him vulnerable. As the dust settles, the Shredder is unceremoniously tossed through a portal, back to his own world, defeated and humiliated. Roku Saki, Golden Harvest, Imogi. The Shredder sneaked in for a quick cameo in the fourth installation on the big screen. Roku Saki and Amato Yoshi, two blokes with a serious case of rivalry, find themselves smitten by the same woman, Thang Shin. But the lady's heart belongs solely to Yoshi. Thang Shin used her silver tongue to persuade Yoshi to hightail it to America. But lo and behold, Saki, consumed by a potent blend of hatred and jealousy, tracked him down. In an act of wickedness, he paid Thang Shin a visit in her humble abode and dispatched her from this world, leaving her lifeless and lonely. All the while, Yoshi was tolling away at his construction gig, blissfully unaware of the tragedy that awaited him. During this gruesome confrontation, there was a little critter hiding, a pet rat by the name of Splinter. And this furry fellow wasn't about to let Saki get away with his vile deeds. With all the ferocity a rat could muster, Splinter lunged at the fiendish Saki, sinking his tiny teeth and claws into the villain's wretched face. That left a mark, quite literally. From that point on, Saki vanished into the shadows like a phantom. Oroku Saki, IDW. It all began when he was just a young whippersnapper, minding his own business, when along comes Kitsu, the witch. She lured him into her lair. Turns out, our guy Saki had a past life, and it wasn't all rainbows and unicorns. No, no. In this past incarnation, his pops, Oroku Maji, had a hand in the death of a certain Takeshi Tatsuo. Naturally, Saki was none too pleased with this little family secret. He hatched a plan and decided to frame the whole thing as the work of mysterious assassins, deflecting the blame from his dear old dad. Sounds like a plot worthy of an agony the Christie novel. And wouldn't you know it, right after this whole debacle, Saki went on to be crowned the Jonin, the big boss of the Foot Clan. Saki finally found himself face to face with none other than the reincarnated mutant animals of the legendary Hamato Clan. Yep, you guessed it, the notorious Splinter and his turtle companions. Oroku Saki, clone, Mirage. Leonardo found himself brutally attacked by members of the Foot Clan, including a seemingly resurrected Shredder himself. The relentless assault pushed Leonardo to the brink of death while the Foot Clan set their sights on the remaining turtles, launching a vicious attack and setting the very building ablaze. The turtles managed to escape the blazing inferno. The turtles returned to the heart of New York City. They allied with Zog, a Triceraton who suffered from hallucinations due to Earth's oxygen. Together, they set out to confront the Foot Clan and the evil Shredder. However, their efforts were met with tragedy when Zog fell victim to the merciless onslaught of the three deformed mutant shredder clones. Do you 
Tokusatsu. Conclusion. In conclusion, the nefarious Shredder has left an indelible mark on the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, whether as the final boss in the games or an evil mastermind who's trying to kill the turtles for mutagen. He has cemented his status as one of the most iconic villains in the TMNT history, from his numerous appearances and incarnation in various comics, TV series, and games, spanning different eras and platforms. He has gained popularity among fans with his cunning persona, whether defeated or triumphant. Shredder's presence has enriched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe and will continue to be a symbol of relentless villainy for years to come. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. So, the four heroes had to figure out a way to keep him.